and even those decisions, as poor as they may be, they are not implemented. An African wants to go to government to do business, the same person to do business with the government. How do you do that? You are in an influential position in the government and you are fighting to be an MP or to be a governor or to be a senator or to, you know, to do business with the same government or to be corrupted in parliament or in senate. You know, it defeats logic of leadership and that will retrogress the nation for years and ages to come. And the ball is in the hands of this current generation. And the people who are perpetuating corruption in this country, who are supporting the old people like me, are young people. I can give you names up to more than 50 young parliamentarians, both in Senate and in Parliament, who are corrupt. Openly, you will be surprised. Who want to be given money to influence emotion or appeal in Parliament? And these are young people. So when you say, you say, oh, we, we want a, a nation of hustlers. To me, hustlers are thieves. And nobody would like to be called a hustler. If my boy or my son came to my house and he told me he's a hustler, I would chase him away from my family. You don't need to hustle. You need to go to a properly structured position of government. A properly structured ministry of government a properly structured hospital of government, a properly structured school of government, a properly structured education system, university, where men are taken there for research, where everything is there, and you yourself, you need to put on properly, nice suit, good tie, nice shoes, if possible, designers. Why should you encourage them once to be a hustler? Huh? This issue of hustling is for stupid people. People who are, who are not foresighted. People who cannot be able to see what is going to happen. This is an unfortunate situation when I hear people talking about how You don't need to hustle. You need to come from school with your degree. You, you, you read in the newspaper and there is a job has been advertised by BAT by Telecoms Kenya, uh, by Kenya Breweries, uh, and you say this is the area I was specialized in as a researcher. I want to apply this online. You are called for an interview. There is a panel of well-experienced people. They don't want to ask you for Rushwa because you have no money. Came from the university, you do your interview, and uh, after three days, uh, your name appears in the newspaper that those people, you, you are qualified, you are now the branch manager of uh, Kenya uh, breweries in Nakuru. And uh, you get your house allowance, you have a car loan, you have a nice house, yeah? that you are not, don't, not hustlers. We cannot have a nation of hustlers because a nation of hustlers is a nation of money eat man uh, society. Because hustlers can eat even the wife. A hustler can kill, can eat a ch his own child. A hustler can eat even himself when he's hungry. Uh, this is a hustler. You shouldn't allow yourself to be called a hustler. A hustler, should, because this man who is calling you a hustler went to the university. Why can't he be in a position to create jobs? Uh, he was in an influence position. He wants to use uh, poverty as a springboard. Uh, to leadership. I don't support that. Um, I like uh, being structured. I want people who can teach people to think. I want people who can provide solutions and I want leaders uh, who can be able to invest in the growth of a society, to invest in a clean city of Nairobi, a clean town of Nakuru, a clean city of Mombasa, a clean city of Kisumu and build those other small cities, Kamega, Machakos, to become part of Nairobi, uh, Kajiado State become part of Nairobi, Lemur become part of Nairobi, and with structured system, uh, fast-moving trains to connect people to their estates, nice houses, everybody house, very clean. You can finish a week 
without polishing your shoe because of highly developed uh, uh, cities in Kenya. Not cities of hustlers. Uh, cities of hustlers, there is full of brew, there is illicit brew in those areas, uh, there is bank smoking, there are people who are informal and they live informally and they are informal in their doings and so on. So whoever tells you that you are a hustler, he's informal, he wants to make you an informal person, he wants you to be part of a retrogressive society, and you should say, no, me, I'm not joining hustlers, I want to live in a structured system, a system that recognizes talents, a system that recognizes degrees, a system that recognizes professionalism, a system that recognizes the international requirement of living and standards.